Oh, and a very merry Grapevine, Texas. If you're a fan of the show, you know we love coming out here. It's a great place to visit, but especially this time of year. The town goes all out, really bringing you that holiday cheer. They have the North Pole Express, ice, they have a Lone Star Christmas at the Gaylord Texan with a little bit of wine mixed in between. But we're gonna start off our holiday tour right here at the Great Wolf Lodge. The Great Wolf Lodge Grapevine Resort offers incredible fun 365 days a year. There's a little something for everyone in your wolf pack. Okay, so I'm accompanied here with Alex Matthews, the Assistant General Manager here at this beautiful and amazing huge resort. What are holidays like here at the Great Wolf Lodge? Holidays are awesome here at Great Wolf. <laughs> uh, we have lots of different uh, activities that we do throughout the holiday season. Uh, Snowland is what our season is called here, and we have things like uh, uh, cookie decorating for Mrs. Claus. Uh, we also have letters to Santa, Santa visits, uh, as well as it snows like every day here in the lobby, which is awesome. We have an 80,000 square foot water park, uh, which is just great. We have our signature ride, the Howling Tornado, which is that big funnel that you can see outside anytime yeah. you drive past here, yeah. which you should drive past here. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we have a live action game called Magic Quest, which the kids absolutely love here, and the yeah. adults too. Yeah. Uh, I, I love it too myself. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we also have a big arcade, uh, lots of games, a lot of fun things to do while you're here. It is never a dull moment, especially during the holidays. No matter what time of day, there is always something to see and do at the Great Wolf Lodge. Visit with Santa Claus, enjoy a festive family flick, or snap a photo outside the mouth-watering life-size gingerbread house. This is our life-size gingerbread house. Uh, we started construction in the beginning of November, started baking in the beginning of October. Uh, everything you see here is real gingerbread, sugar, gumdrops, candy canes, just, just like at home, only larger. Let me say that one more time. This is all real yep. food, candy right behind this that you built. And as well as chocolate on the roof. Oh my goodness. So you said you started preparing back in October, getting ideas, yep. and how long does it normally yep. take and, you to and, build something And we, like we start to bake. In our bakery, we have a sheeter, and we, we start with the dough. It's the equivalent to a gigantic rolling pin, and we bake throughout the entire month of, of October and start construction in November. Wow. With the goal in mind of being done before Santa Claus arrives. Oh my goodness. Well, I can't wait to get my hands dirty. Maybe. Maybe uh, you might be missing gingerbread on the way out. I'm not sure. No All problem. right, we, we won't tell. Smells like a gingerbread house. <sighs> All right, so we're going to try making Santa Claus here. Santa Claus. And. Oh, thank you very much. One for you. And now we're going to make his beard. Okay. Is you really need to bear down on this, in fact. Got to work out the yeah. hands. So, and then you're going to use the tip a little bit like you would use a Q-tip. And you're going to spread it around. You're going to make his beard. Okay. Okay, it's not coming out as pretty as I expected it. But not all beards are... Symmetrical. No, you're doing great. <laughs> All right, and while it's still wet, we're going to put an upside down chip. He's rolling his eyes at me. It's a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> a couple of rosy cheeks. Finally, we want to hit the cotton ball. And there's your Santa. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Families can dine in between candy canes and gumdrops, but outside the house, there's snow parties in the lobby and 52 Christmas trees on display, including a 30-foot one, which sits at the center of the resort. You know, there's just so much detail that goes into every little thing that they do here at the Great Wolf Lodge. If this doesn't get you into the Christmas spirit, I don't know what will. Okay, so our time at the Great Wolf Lodge is coming to an end. They definitely know how to do Christmas here. But one thing we need to do before we go is let it snow, let it snow, let it snow! <laughs> it's 
So this is the historic Main Street where over 80 locally owned shops, jewelry stores, art galleries, wine tasting rooms, restaurants are all located down this strip. The hardest part is deciding which one we're going to go to first. All right, Lee, you are our go-to person whenever we come out here to Grapevine. And over the summer, you told us we need to come out here during the holidays. We are here. So what is the winter time like in Grapevine, Texas? Well, Grapevine is the Christmas capital of Texas. And if you've not experienced it, we have 1,400 Christmas events in 40 days. And of course, we have our city Christmas tree, lots of exciting things for families to get to see and do. And, you know, the music is really exciting and fun. And, you know, as, as part of the crew was actually saying as we drove up, what a great place to really get into the spirit and experience the magic of Christmas here in beautiful Grapevine, Texas. Okay, so fun little factoid, back in 2009, the Texas State Senate officially designated Grapevine as the Christmas capital of Texas. How about that? If I was going to spend the holidays of any town, especially from my hometown where I'm from, I would spend it here in Grapevine. I really would. It's an experience you got to come and look at for yourself. It's great for the families to just walk up and down Main Street and just get pictures and everyone just love and hug each other and just bring out the true meaning of family. Great if you got a cup of hot chocolate and a cup of coffee and uh, maybe some candy to go with it. 